The information presented in this virtual exercise program is current as of June 2022. This programming may involve diverse exercise activities encompassing a range of physical demands. Although the programming is being led by certified practitioners in the respective disciplines, you agree that you are voluntarily accepting the risks of physical activity that may be particular to your individual health and fitness circumstances, and you agree that we will not be held liable for these risks or any injuries or damages arising therefrom. Further, we are unable to monitor your health status during the programming or call for medical attention on your behalf. By participating, you warrant that you are physically capable of performing the activities of the particular program and that you will seize the activities should you begin to feel unwell at any time. The information provided by the exercise program leaders is not intended to be medical advice or personal training. We recommend that each participant discuss their medical circumstances and the programming with their physician. Are you a complete exercise beginner who wants to start off with cardio-based workouts? Hey, my name is Ryan Miski, and today I'm gonna to be showing you tips and tricks for all fitness levels. Listen, it starts with the consistency. We wanna create the habit of getting your body moving, getting your blood flowing, and get the heart rate pumping. So I'm gonna show you some cardio-based exercise, great for all fitness levels. But first, we're gonna start with a light little warm-up. So follow along before we get into the workout, okay? First exercise we're gonna start with to warm up is just big arm circles, okay? Opening up those arms nice and wide, big arm circles. I want you to follow along with me for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's spread the legs a little bit. Now we're just gonna go cross body, open those hands up in. Nice, this one's gonna open your chest up and get your back nice and mobile. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. The reason why we do these warm-ups is to lubricate the joints. We wanna get you flowing and feeling good. Hands on your shoulders. Let's roll the shoulders back to open up the chest. Remember, you can even do these any place, any time if you've just been sitting at the desk too long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's move down now to our hips, okay? So spreading the legs. We're just gonna do nice little hip circles with the hips, okay? Just moving the hips around, keeping the body still, just trying to wake those hips up. Tell your body you're about to start working out here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring the feet together. Let's go down to the knees. Big knee circles to get those knees warmed up. Two, three, four, and five. Let's go down to the ankles, just some ankle rolls. Let's get those ankles rolled up. You might hear some creaking and cracking, that's okay. That's your body just telling you you're about to wake up and work out. Other side, just a few here. Five, four, three, two and one. Okay, the first exercise that we're gonna do is marching in spot. I want 20 seconds on the clock and here we go. Let's get that heart rate up and there you go. Getting those knees up into your chest, moving the arms, getting the blood flowing, but breathing as you're walking. Don't hold the breath. <sighs> nice, if you need to grab water at any time through this workout, feel free to do so. Great, that's 20 seconds, light little warm up. Here we go. Now we're going for side bends, okay? Reach your hands over top, getting a nice stretch in those hips. Feeling it all down the side. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The heart's starting to pump, the blood's starting to flow. Now we're just going with the little half squat, okay? So all you're gonna do is go down and back up. I don't need you to go too deep on these ones. Let's put 20 seconds on the clock, get down and let's go. Breathing through each exercise, not needing to get too deep, pushing the knees out as you squat down, pushing the butt back, keeping the back nice and straight. 
Nice, great job. Keep it long for four, three, two, and one. Good job. Your heart rate's up now. So here we're going for some rotations. Here we go, 20 seconds on the clock. And all you're gonna do is rotate this way, rotate the opposite way. Pivoting the foot as you rotate. Taking breaths in, exhaling as you twist. Keeping those hands nice and high. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, last exercise that we're gonna do is just a nice little step back, okay? 20 seconds on the clock. Stepping back, and here we go. Follow along. One, two, three. Looking good. Moving those hands with that body. Incorporating more than just your legs here. You've got the core flowing for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So that right there are your six exercises you're gonna start with. I want you to take a second Grab a little sip of water if you need to, because now we're gonna speed it up a little bit. So we base our cardio on RPE, your rate of perceived exertion. So on a scale of one to 10, how tired on you? You should be about a three or four. You shouldn't be too tired. If you're more than that, you might wanna keep what we just did. If you're feeling like you wanna challenge yourself and get your heart rate up, you're gonna bring it about to about a five or a six, okay? So let's put 20 seconds on the clock, and this time we're gonna do a light jog in place. Here we go. Just a light little jog, getting those feet off like you're jogging in position. Pushing those knees out, chest nice and high. 10 more seconds, here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one, good job. So you remember the side bends from the first round? This time we're gonna do a step with it. Here we go, 20 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Side bend over, side bend over. Coming to the middle, hand over top, and over. Getting that stretch while you're stepping right in place, okay? Your heart rate's too high. Take a little breath, get right back into it. Two. And one, good job. Okay, going back to the half squats. I know we're going a little fast here. Your heart rate's up. If it's too high, let's bring it back down. Pause for a second and get back into it. 20 seconds on the clock, let's go. Nice, just a little half squat. This isn't meant to be a full squat down. It's just to get your blood flowing. Remember, we're doing cardio here. <sighs> Exhaling as you go down. Five more seconds, three, two, one, and good. Last exercise we're gonna do here is a rotation. Here we go for the rotations. Three, two, one, and exhaling as you twist. Pivoting that foot, feeling the stretch in your hip as you rotate. Here we go, last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, okay, I want you to take a little sip of water, cool down before we do the last set. Okay, we're doing three sets of this because that's where you're really gonna get your bang for your buck. You wanna invest some time into this to get your heart rate up, okay? When you're ready to go, you can go. If you need to press pause, take a second to grab a sip of water, feel free to do so, okay? If you're ready for the last set, let's put 20 seconds on the clock. And let's go for those running in place. Here we go. Just a light little jog, something you can do at home. Don't need to go outside, don't need to go to the gym. It's right in your living room. Getting your heart rate up for the last five seconds. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Next, we're going that side step with a bend. A little bit of a stretch and a movement. Here we go. Three, two, one, and reaching over top. Side stepping, reaching over top. Side stepping. You're looking good, guys. I love it. Keep it up. Heart rate's up. This is the last round. Give it all you got. Four, three, 
two, and one. Good job, guys. Going into those half squats. Remember those half squats? Here we go. Three, two, one, and good. Nice, if you're a beginner, your body's pretty confused. It's saying, what's going on here? My heart rate's nice and high, but that's okay. I want you to challenge yourself. Here we go. Last five seconds on the clock. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's get those rotations, rotations. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, and rotate. What I like about this exercise is you get a nice stretch in your hips as you're doing this, keeping the elbows nice and high, exhaling as you twist. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and one. There you have it, guys. That's cardio you can do in your living room, any place, any time. You can make it harder, you can go for a little bit longer if you wanna increase the intensity, if you wanna increase the time you do it as you progress. My name's Ryan Miske, this has been the Kidney Wellness Hub, where we try to give fitness tips for all levels of fitness. Be sure to take a short survey so we can add value added content to your life. This has been Ryan Miske signing off, Stay healthy, my friends. This video is brought to you by the Kidney Foundation of Canada, BC and Yukon Branch. Please remember to like and subscribe. You can continue to watch another video or return to the Kidney Foundation Wellness Hub by clicking on the direct link in the description box below. If you would take a moment to fill out our short survey found below as well, we would greatly appreciate your input. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.